lovely pass for Messi. Oh, control. Hello and welcome back my fellow FIFA fanatics to another FIFA 22 player career mode video. I recently put out a poll on my channel asking all of you to decide on who my next uh, career mode video is going to be. Um, gave you guys the option between four popular FIFA streamers, I Show Speed, Crossy Pie Face and Boras Legend. And the vast majority of you overwhelmingly voted for I Show Speed, which now that I think about it is a given given that he has around 8 million subscribers while the rest are nowhere near, but still worth mentioning. Before we get to the video itself, I would like to urge you all to join the Discord server. It's a very helpful place dedicated to career mode and also it is where I will be doing my monthly $50 giveaway, any gift card of your choosing, PlayStation, Xbox or PC. In addition, also my, my fellow Discord members submit their uh, career mode builds and I do a career mode build review on live stream every Saturday. So if you want me to review your career mode build, jump on in the server, post it in there, and I will do it on the Saturday after you post it. So in summary, this build is going to be based on, most importantly, sprint speed, acceleration, uh, distance shooting, finishing, and of course agility, because without agility, sprint speed and acceleration become kind of pointless, because agility will help us change directions quick and get a head start in any other given direction if we're dribbling among players. And of course, we're going to prioritize dribbling for this build as well. Uh, from watching his streams, I noted that he's always interested in two players, and he talks about them over and over again. Two players are Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi, so I kind of fixed on the attributes for these two players, begin dribbling and shooting and finishing and speed. And the only thing that I couldn't get to kind of complement these two players' play style is going to be jump because there isn't enough skill points in this game to get everything. And now on to the build itself. First thing we're going to go to is the player profile. Um, we're going to select the position to attacker. Definitely the role is going to be striker. The height, I put it at a 5.7. Now I have witnessed speed on one of his live streams say that he's six foot one. I highly doubt that. I don't give the guy over 5'7". If he is, I hope he proves me wrong. As for the weight, I went for 147 just to kind of supplement uh, the build itself and uh, really complement the whole idea of having this be a speed build that will help our acceleration and sprint speed. Now on to the perks. The first perk that I chose to go with is Distant Shooter, kind of complement the striker position. Skill Dribbler is very important to me. I kind of enjoy it a lot, and it kind of complements his, uh, his love for Messi. And the Active First Touch is something that I think is necessary for a speed build because that will give you a speed boost anytime you get a through ball. First things first, let's look at the 
uh, pace section given that his name is I show speed I figured the most important thing to him is speed and as you can see we got everything over here we're going to end up with a 94 acceleration and a 97 sprint speed on to the physical stats themselves as you can see we're going to start with strength and we're going to pick up stamina then we're going to head on to the right side and we're going to pick up stamina again then we're going to get reaction one time just to get stamina again twice and then we're going to get the acrobat archetype and pick up stamina over here worth six points now uh, sprint speed and acceleration without stamina is basically useless because if you run up and down the field a couple of times and you get tired then your speed is worth nothing onto the dribbling stats we're going to go ahead and pick up dribbling then we're going to pick up ball control after that we're going to get attack positioning one time just so we can get the skill moves which will get us to the maestro archetype that will give us a lot of ball control and dribbling then we're going to pick up ball control proceed down to get dribbling and then dribbling again twice and then ball control another three times on the right side of the skill tree we're going to start with agility and then we're going to pick up dribbling twice we're going to head down and pick up attack positioning and balance twice and then balance one time attack positioning and agility twice and then the links archetype as you can see over here we of course prioritize agility more than anything we ended up with a lot of ball control and dribbling which is also good agility and dribbling really complement sprint speed and acceleration onto the passing we don't have a lot of points to spend over here so we're going to prioritize curve then just only to get curved three more times over here and that will really help us out with our finesse shots if we're going to do the messy shots they need a lot of a lot of bent and uh, onto the shooting this is where most of our points went we're going to go down this this side of the tree just to really um pick up the free kick points and we're gonna pick up penalties over here just to get the sniper archetype and as you can see we're gonna end up with an 80 free kick accuracy pick up penalties just to get heading again over here twice tried my best to give some points into heading to complement the ronaldo play style now over here we got finishing then we got volleys twice and then we're gonna pick up finishing and volleys twice again finishing up and volleys twice and then we're gonna get the finisher archetype on the right side we're also going to get long shots only to open up long shots and shot power and then we're going to pick up long shots and shot power twice and volleys twice again and then shortly after that we're going to pick up penalties and we're going to go for long shots again now there is over here three points that i put into volleys that aren't really necessary if you want to put more into header and raise the overall remove three points from volleys and put them into header and as you can see as it is right now we have the 96 finishing we have the 80 free kick accuracy long shots at 93 shot power at a stunning 99 and volleys at a 93 this this all all these points kind of really uh embody cristiano ronaldo and messi's combined finishing skills in fifa 22. as usual if you guys find this content helpful or entertaining please don't forget to drop a like or subscribe to my channel I will also remind you guys to join the Discord. I will go ahead and put the link to my Discord server in the description, and you can also find it in the pinned comment section. And for all of you career mode veterans who want to know how to win Player of the Year award, I have done a video on that last week, and if you've not checked it out, I will go ahead and link that in the description of the video, and you can also find the link on the end screen. And until the next time, stay safe and keep on keeping on.